Hi everyone, this is Lean and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. Today I'm using this Love Shadow World Meraki Paradise together with the Owl Yours which was released in the previous release and then I'm also using the Cloud Stencil by my favorite things. So I'm starting with the coloring of these images. These images, as I said, are from the Owl Yours and this was previously released um, but I just love these images, they are really really cute and I'm making a love themed card but in my opinion or in my case it will serve as a Mother's Day card so that's why I chose these two owls because this little one can represent well the child or <laughs> the adult <laughs> but um, well you know and the other one can represent the mother. I also think that it could work as a Father's Day card, but personally I would then change up the colors that I'm using. Today I'm using purples and I really really like how it ended up. So the coloring, doing some Copic coloring today. So I stamped these images onto Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper using my Gina K Design Amalgam Ink. This ink allows me to color with whatever medium I want to color with. Um, so that's why I love using this ink because this way I cannot mistake myself while taking the ink to stamp out my images. Now I'm going from darkest to lightest and as I said in some previous videos I prefer having at least two layers um, when I'm coloring onto this paper and for these images it's enough. I am doing some simple shadowing. Um, having the lights sort of in the middle of each of the images so I am adding shadows on the left and right side of each of these images except for the tree branch. There I'm changing it up but that's just because it's wood and well. So that's what I'm doing today um, just keeping it really simple these owls will get sort of the same coloring except for the details. Um, and as you saw the egg here as well as the eyes I added some purples because I'm using purple in the background as well So I ended up coloring this image again um, apparently um, I smeared some of the ink um, So I just decided to color it again afterwards uh, without filming that um, before fussy cutting this whole image out I'm going to fussy cut today. If you don't like fussy cutting, um, there are matching dyes available at the store. Um, so that's always handy. I prefer matching dyes over fussy cutting. Uh, but you know, if we need to, we can always fussy cut. So as you can see here, I'm using the same colors and again shading on the left and on the right side of the image. And then I'm working my way back to the lightest color, doing a second layer and then I will start on the details as well of this owl, which I will keep quite simple. Um, I first thought of using a bit of the purple as well, but then I realized, and you don't need to be realistic because these are just cute images, um, but like when you look at birds and you see the female birds, um, most of the time they are less colorful than the male birds unfortunately. Um, <laughs> so I decided to keep it to the browns um, for this owl instead of using the purple as well. So I'm just turning around this paper um, from time to time I just I try to keep the paper <laughs> in the same positioning as much as possible uh, normally um, but there are just those days where the coloring really needs some help and you just need to turn and twist your paper to get an easier position to, to color everything. Also here I'm doing a bit more of a flicking motion uh, so that also helps me when I can just go vertically instead of going from left to right for me personally. So here I'm onto the details already a bit, one is with the lighter color and then the other one I will use a darker brown. And then I can do the branch and then the coloring is already finished uh, for the biggest part here. So 
So I also decided on these images because they seem to be sitting on things and I'm going to use this branch for the little one. Um, and then the love fur that I'm going to use is for the bigger owl. Uh, I also love the owl that is uh, flying. Um, well, I just love every image from the stamp set. Um, but I was contemplating in between them and I just thought I can put this one on the word and this way the word is sort of incorporated in the scenery that we are making. Um, but it's really a simple car today. Um, so scenery, yes, but um, as you saw maybe in the beginning already, um, it's quite simple. So here I have an A2 size panel and I'm going to create a really dreamy uh, sky. So I'm using this cloud stencil and I'm just using it using my <laughs> two purple distress inks that I took here, the Dusty Concord and Seedless Preserves and then um, I will darken up the edges using the chipped sapphire. Now personally I find it really lovely and dreamy if you, um, after ink blending your, your sky or whatever you're making, that you start ink blending on the edges as well, so that the edges are darker then the middle part of your panel and then I get the idea that it's sort of a dreamy look. That's also why I took the chipped sapphire as well to get a bit of a darker area and then all of a sudden those clouds are appearing um, on this panel and for me this really represents a dreamy feel. So that was something that I was going for. And I'm just going back and forth between the colors really lightly ink blending on the edges um, this paper isn't as forgiving with the stress inks. I'm using the same paper as for the images, the perfect coloring paper. Um, so I need to be really lightly and once there is a layer on, I can go back on there and darken it a bit more if needed. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a paper that is a bit more forgiving, if you want to use your stress inks, the regular ones, then I would suggest using Stratmore Bristle Smooth because uh, there, well, the ink stays on top of it a bit more instead of soaking into the paper. So I decided to add a few splatters on this panel. Uh, now, this paper cannot handle a lot of water, so I try to keep it to minimum. Um, and I'm just splattering a bit here and there to have a bit more of that dreamy feel. Uh, and also just a few pops of color on the um, center of this panel. I'm going to add my panel now onto a card base and as you can see that law Ford, I cut it out from the Purple Rain Mirror Card by Tonic Studios. Uh, I love their mirror cards, uh, they are amazing and I just love this purple because depending on how you are turning it towards the light you see all sorts of colors but still in the, in the range of purples and I just really really love that. So I decided to lay everything out and once I was happy with placement I could add everything first starting with the parts that are underneath the other ones and then I'm going to add the love just directly on top of this panel and the little one I will add with some thin foam squares. So here I wanted to make sure that the owl really is sitting on the E and once that was done I could add the little owl onto the branch and then I could cut off the excess. As you can see, I let the branch hang over the panel just to have the illusion that it's coming uh, inside of the card, but there is more than just this panel. Um, and now I'm going to finish it off using some embellishments. So for these embellishments, I'm using some Crystal Clear Hearts droplets. These are really cute. Um, they have a heart shape, but it's really subtle. And at the same time they are see-through, so they are not disturbing this scenery. They are just adding a little bit more for the one that is the recipient of this card. And once they are on there using some uh, liquid glue, I'm going to call this card finished. You can add a bit of stickles if you want to, some glossy accents if you want to. Um, but I just thought to keep it simple and keep it this way. Um, I hope that you like it. And this is my card. So 
I want to thank you all for stopping by to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely do, then you will never miss a video using the Crafty Meraki products. I hope that you have an amazing day and I will be back soon with some new crafty inspiration. Bye!